family, welcome back to my channel. I'm currently standing in like a really awkward position so you can see the DIYs behind me. But today I have a Dollar Tree Glam Christmas DIY video for you guys. So it is Christmas decor on the Glam side. I think I want to do another one. If you want to see another one, let me know. Because I only did three DIYs in this video. It took a while um, to condense it so I was like the video is going to be too long if I did more. But I still think I have a few in the bag that I want to do. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up. I need to end this intro soon because my leg is hurting from crouching like this. Anyways, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and click the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. And please let me know if you want to see another Glam video, like I said. I think farmhouse decor will be next, though. Um, Christmas farmhouse DIYs because I haven't done that yet. And that's like the most popular stuff on my channel. Anyways, with that being said, let's begin the video. I gotta stand up. Let's start with this gorgeous mirror box. Now the footage I'm using is old because I made this thing last year and still have it and continue to use it. So from Dollar Tree you want to pick up at least 8 of their square candle holding mirrors. If you want a bottom to your box you'll need at least 11. Now there are barcode stickers on the back of them that you'll want to remove. When I made my box I forgot to do that and realized it later on and I've yet to fix it. You can't see the stickers when items are in the box. Now what you do is you'll use a heavy duty glue like super glue E6000 Gorilla Glue to attach three mirrors together. I did three sets of these for the front, back, and bottom of the box. Now because I'm impatient when filming and I'd rather get things done right then and there, I didn't want to wait for the E6000 to completely dry and have to wait like 24 hours for it to dry. So what I did is I used small mirror pieces with a glue gun wherever two mirrors met. That way I was able to make the entire box right then and there. When it comes to gluing the sides of the mirror, so the sides of the box, I recommend having hot glue on hand to hold the mirrors in place while the heavy duty glue dries. So you'll put your glue along the edge of the mirror, attach it to the other mirror, so now you have a side, and then just use hot glue in the very corner where the two mirrors meet. So that way it holds it in place while it just dries. So you pretty much just glue all the mirrors together and create a box. You pretty much get the gist of it. So once you're done, you'll just have a box. Of course. Now to add things inside of this so that they don't keep like falling over and I don't have to use as many, I'm going to place some styrofoam squares inside of there. I was able to fit three of them inside of the box that I made. Now I'm going to start decorating the inside of this thing. So I'm going to start off with these glittery holly berries that I bought at Dollar Tree. It's like, it's like an antique gold versus a yellow gold, which most of the items Dollar Tree carry that has a gold glitter, it's like a yellow gold. So what I did is I took a wire cutter and I cut each individual stem off of the main stem. And then I removed the leaves off of each holly berry piece. I then go ahead and stick that inside of my box. I used two of those holly berry bundles, whatever you want to call them, from Dollar Tree and on each bundle there are five individual stems of the holly berry. I've talked about this before but I don't think Dollar Tree is always the be all end all when it comes to pricing on things. It doesn't always have the best prices or sometimes you can get things at other stores at the same price point. What I mean by that is this, I wanted these little gold picks from Dollar Tree. I could only find one and I kept going to Dollar Trees and I couldn't find any more. So instead I went to Hobby Lobby, I found these really pretty glittery golden picks and they were $1.99 originally but right now it's all half off the Christmas items so I got it for a dollar which is the same price I would pay at Dollar Tree except I was actually able to find it at Hobby Lobby and find a bunch of them versus having to go to multiple Dollar Trees trying to find these things and I couldn't find them. Same price as Dollar Tree, just as nice if not nicer and just more convenient in the sense that I was able to find a bunch. Now, you might not live near a Hobby Lobby, but Michaels has them for a dollar, Joint Fabrics has them for a dollar. You can go to other places and be able to find picks for the same price. I got three of these icy branches for a dollar and I placed those inside of my mirror box. I keep saying mirror, but mirror box. The next items I added were these flowers from Dollar Tree. I went ahead and cut them off of the stem. These are like a white gold to me, and so I just added a bunch of them all around the place. I kind of used them mainly to start filling in gaps around the edging of the mirror. 
Next, I'm using these glittery pine cones from Dollar Tree and I'm just placing them inside of the box wherever I can still see styrofoam so I can start getting rid of that look so when people are staring in the box, you can't see any styrofoam. Now I'm adding these glittery balls. Don't know what they're called. It's not holly berry. Dollar Tree does carry these little stems, but it's more on the yellow side. So the ones I'm using are from Hobby Lobby. The ones at Dollar Tree are either silver or a very yellow gold. Um, another thing, you do not have to put exactly what I did inside of your box. Sometimes people would be like, well, that's too many items inside of the box for me. Okay, don't do that then. <laughs> like, you don't have to do it. Now I'm gonna be adding these reindeer ornaments. There are two in a pack, so it's two for a dollar. I'm putting three of them inside of this and I just place them inside. I don't glue them inside. They're able to attach to the picks just fine. Then the next thing I'm adding are little snowflake ornaments from Dollar Tree. There's 10 in a pack. They carry two different kinds, a white kind and a clear kind. I'm using the white colored ones. And again, I just place them inside. I don't glue them inside. That way I'm able to like take this apart at the end of the day and be able to reuse anything inside of there that I wanted. If I added the glue, I'm gonna have a harder time reusing anything. Now the final thing I added was this snowflake flower I don't even know look an ornament I added it to the front of my box I just glued it on with some hot glue you can use a heavy duty glue to make sure it doesn't come off hot glue it's not really gonna come off except maybe when it comes to storing this thing it might get knocked off and that was it for the box I told you guys I did one of these last year and it looks a little bit different so if you want to check that out you can check that out I love this and like I said you can use exclusively Dollar Tree products it's just hard to find the picks in bulk with the colors that you want because normally it's like one or two at every single Dollar Tree and they get bought up fast. Let's move on to the Christmas tree. From Dollar Tree you want to pick up one of their white Christmas trees. They're about 12 inches tall and what you do is just unravel it and then add the legs. Normally I try to use garland ties to make the trees look fuller but I skip that because they don't have any white garland ties at Dollar Tree to use. So instead to kind of make this look fuller, I'll be using those glitter holly berries again and I remove them from the stems so I just have the berry part, no wire at the bottom of it and I glue that to the tree in areas that are sparse. I used two of them for the tree and I did cut like some pieces off a little bit so that I could have smaller pieces of holly berry only two bundles I used you can use more than that but that was all I had on hand now once I had all the holly berry on I added these flowers from Dollar Tree these are really pretty and they're on the golden side the ones I used earlier were more like a white antique gold hard to describe honestly but these are more like a golden yellow tone flower so I and attach them from the main stem using a wire cutter and then I glue on those little flowers I only had one bundle, so that means only five flowers. I wanted another one, but I couldn't find it at the Dollar Tree that I had gone to. Next up, I took some of the holly berry that I told you I cut off, and I started gluing that to just the ends of the branches. I'm now adding these ornaments from Dollar Tree. There's three different finishes to them in the pack that I bought. Um, one looks a little bit spiky, another one is more like a satin look, and then another one is like a glitter finish. So I went ahead and just add those to the end of the branches. They come with little strings to attach to them. I don't use the strings. I just attach them directly from the top of the ornament and move that into the branch. Don't know if that makes sense. There was an area I really wanted an ornament and it couldn't just be hung there. I used hot glue to glue it on. Next, I'm using this flower looking ornament thingamabob and I got it at Walmart for $1.48. I would have added one of the flowers from Dollar Tree, but like I said, I only had one bundle and I could only find one. So I'm just using this. It was $1.48, so only $0.48 cents more than something I would buy at Dollar Tree. Now for the tree skirt of this thing, I'm using these jumbo glittery flowers from Dollar Tree. They're poinsettias and I'm using two of them and just kind of placing them over the bottom of the tree. You can get three, four, whatever it is that you like, but two of them, it's able to cover the entire bottom and look like a tree skirt. And that was it for this glam looking Christmas tree. This one is really pretty. I love the glitter and everything. Love to decorate with glitter, but I hate though all the glitter that ends up everywhere. Finally! This, I don't know what you want to call this, this 
pretty stand that could technically be your tier tray. What would you even call this? Okay, from Dollar Tree, I'm going to be using these 3D wreath forms. Now, you can unattach them. So I did unattach all four of them, and I'm using the smallest one that is inside of this wreath form thing. Now, I really, really wanted to make a chandelier out of this, and it's just hard. Anyhow, what I'm doing is I'm using these crystal chandelier looking ornaments i got them half off at hadley lobby i said that very weird so it cost me two dollars and fifty cents i'm using two packs so five dollars for both packs so what i'm doing is i'm cutting the very top knot to those chandelier ornaments and tying that around the wreath form you don't have to use the chandelier ornaments you can skip it if you're trying to use just dollar tree products you don't have to put them i put them because i think they're pretty and i don't think that it's a bad price two dollars and fifty cents for four of these um but like i said you don't have to do it you don't now the closest thing you're going to get to something like that at dollar tree is their acrylic gems but it'll be a pain in the butt trying to figure out how to hang those things off of a string sometimes they have like crystally looking bracelets you can get but it's not very often that they have them in and you'd probably need to buy more than $2.50 worth. So if you can go to Hobby Lobby and get these at that price, I recommend just doing that. I used eight of those ornaments because there were four in each pack and like I said, I bought two packs. Now the next thing I'm doing is I'm taking those snowflake ornaments again. There are 10 in a pack and these are from Dollar Tree and I'm attaching them again to the wreath form. Now you could get some extra string and loop it through and tie it that way to the wreath or you can glue the string that is on the snowflake ornament to the wreath form. Now, unlike the other ornaments, when you cut the string on the snowflake ornament, it's very hard to tie that string because it's so thin. So that's why you need extra string or you can just glue the string that's already on there to the wreath form. And that's what I did. I just used a hot glue gun to glue the ornaments down. Now to help secure those ornaments in place, I ended up getting these rhinestone stickers they are from dollar tree it's just adhesive rhinestone stickers and i cut them down into smaller pieces that i then glue on the wreath form and like i said i really wanted to turn this thing into a chandelier and that was like my goal but it's just too complicated with these little forms and not having like the proper tools like i tried attaching it using string and trying to make it so that it would like it could be hung up and it just it was not working so I went with plan B. Take your time when applying those rhinestone stickers and it's better to cut them into smaller pieces than doing longer pieces of it if that makes sense. It's just better to go slow slow and steady ruins the race. Okay I don't know what I'm talking about. Now this was plan B to make like a mirror stand. So from Dollar Tree, I'm using one of their circled mirrors. Now they have two different sizes. I'm using the bigger of their two and I push that mirror and frame apart. Now I take this vase that I got from Dollar Tree and I glue it to the mirror. I used hot glue only for video purposes because I wanted to film this faster than having to wait for a heavy duty glue to dry. But my recommendation to anybody who's making this is to use a heavy duty glue like super glue, E6000, Gorilla Glue, something that is better than hot glue. I'm just using hot glue because like I said, I'm filming and I wanted it to go faster than having to wait all day for the glue to dry. The next thing I'm doing is I'm taking that wreath form and I am gluing that to the very bottom of that picture frame. So I flip it over and I glue that wreath form inside of the picture frame. Now the way I glued the wreath form in was again with hot glue. I put hot glue down in the base of that frame and then I placed the wreath form in. At first I was kind of struggling trying to figure out how to move the ornaments so that they didn't get glued in there too. It was best to put all the ornaments toward the center of the frame and then that way it cleared up the wreath form so I was able to glue it in place. Once I had it in there, I added more glue on top of the wire to make sure it was just like super secure. Again, you could use heavy duty glue to do this. That's what I would use if I had more time, but I would use the heavy duty glue and hot glue for this part. Just cause the hot glue does add some type of like barrier sometimes that is really nice to have. Next up, 
I paint the picture frame. I painted it white. You could paint it whatever color you like. It's probably best to paint the picture frame beforehand, but I didn't do that because, like I said, I wanted to do a chandelier out of this, and then I went to plan B, which there was no direction for plan B. I was just going with the flow. So you probably want to paint the picture frame beforehand, but I didn't do that because I was still trying to figure out my life. I'm using Waverly white chalk paint to do this. You can use honestly any type of paint you want. The paint I'm using, I got from Walmart. Now to decorate this thing, I got this small little candle holder from Dollar Tree that I'm using as a vase. I'm gonna add some floral picks inside of there, a white glittery one and a gold one. I'm also gonna be using this reindeer ornament from Dollar Tree. I'm putting that at the top and then this little snowflake ornament. I did add three of those snowflake ornaments to the top of the mirror. I didn't glue them down, I just placed them. If you drank every single time that I said ornament, you're probably wasted right now. Anyways, that is it for this mirror stand, tear tray, looking thing. I don't know what to call it. You could add another mirror to the bottom to make it look like a tear tray. That's what I did, I just placed it though. On the mirror I didn't like glue it down or anything so that is it for these glam DIYs I do want to do another one of these so if you want to see another one let me know down in the comments below thank you so much for watching this video I will see you guys next time take care bye